from the makers of Snuggy and Sham Wow. Do you ever wake up at 7 a.m., grab a bowl, grab your cereal? Grab your cereal. 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 Are you the type of person that has a hard time making decisions, especially when it comes to choosing what seat to take? If you answered yes to these questions, then I have good news for you. Quantum Products Incorporated is now introducing the new Rebecca Black Decision Making Kit. It's fun, fun, fun that always collapses. Our device caters to your needs. It calculates the probability of today being Friday, as well as measuring what day it actually is by collapsing wave functions and using quantum mechanics. Wow! 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 But how does it work? So our product works off a wave function, which is based on quantum mechanics. So our wave function are, is the week, essentially. And our eigenstates are the days of the week, which are Monday, and Sunday in direct notation. And we've done um, customer research to maximize customer satisfaction. So we found that um, to maximize the satisfaction, we would make the probability of it being Monday relatively low at one, and um, making Tuesday two, three, four, and then since everyone likes Fridays, we're gonna make it seven, and Saturdays are next best, so it's gonna be six and five. So this is just how likely the, um, each of these days are compared to each other. In order to turn these ratings into a probability, we have to take the absolute value of the square of the wave function. So um, to keep these the way that they are, we have to take the square roots of each of them. So that makes our wave function what, square root of 1 times m plus square root of 2. Can you see that? OK. So um, if you square that and add, up, or add up the probability of the day being Monday, Tuesday, or any of those, it should add up, to, add up to 1 because you can't have a probability that's greater than 1. Right, so at the top over here we have our wave function without the, co uh, the coefficient, which we're trying to figure out because we want um, to normalize it uh, so the probability adds up to 1. And so what we're going to do is we're working off of um, these two simple, I guess, um, notions that um, if you have a variable with itself, or like a state with itself, it equals 1 in direct notation. Uh, bra x, ket x equals 1, but if it's two different ones, then you have 0. And so what I did was, um, over here, this is on bra notation, and this is on ket notation. And that's basically how you normalize. And so you multiply the two together, um, and I simplified it down to um, everything that was, let's say, the two uh, variables inside are the same, then I just left those. And then their coefficients uh, you take the squares, squares of them, and then you just add them all up together. You get 28, um, and so you have a squared times 28 equals 1, um, and then, then you have um, a equals 1 over 28. So this is our coefficient uh, for the entire wave function um, that allowed us to, uh, allows us to work with it now because it's normalized. Um, and so we we're trying to figure out what is the probability that uh, today is a Friday. And so what you do is um, you do bra uh, f for Friday, ket uh, the wave function, uh, you take the magnitude squared. And so um, I put that in here for you because uh, you, you come over to this value, you, uh, you multiply it by the coefficient, um, take the, the magnitude, in this case this is already positive, um, square root or square of it, and you get 7 over 28, which is 1 fourth. So 25% chance that it's Friday, and let's check what it gives us. Indeed, it is Friday. So we got a chance to get a random person off the street and have them ask a question about the product. You see, I'm in a pickle. I have two best friends who are identical twins, and sometimes they argue. But I want to know, what's the probability of me sitting by one of my friends in the car? Good question! If the twins are having a good day, as in they're not arguing, we can treat them as bosons. Bosons are still indistinguishable, indistinguishable particles, but they can be in the same state, meaning both twins can be in the front seat, or both twins can be in the back seat. We are treating the front seat and the back seat as states. So, this is the wave function representation of that. 
However, the statistics of you sitting by one of them comes down to this part. Since they are indistinguishable, indistinguishable particles, the front and the back is the same as the back and the front, so that goes away. You have three options. Since they can be in the same state, you, you keep these three options. And the one you want is the one in, twin in the front and one twin in the back. That way you can sit by one of them, which means you have a one in third chance of you sitting by one of your twin friends. If the twins are having a bad day, we can treat them as fermions. Fermions, when they try to collide with each other, they avoid each other because they can never be in the same state. Because they cannot be in the same state, the mathematical representation has a minus sign. By not being able to be in the same state is similar to not being able to be either both of them in the front seat or both in the back seat, as long as we treat the seats like states. So, they're all, so that, crosses off fermi, that crosses off front seats and the back seats for the location possibilities of our twins. Also, since they're indistinguishable, indistinguishable particles, we can cross off either the front and the back or the back and the front because it's the same thing. So, since you want to sit by one of your friends, and you, if they're fermions, then you will have a 100% chance of sitting by one of your friends. So if you call within the next 11 seconds, we'll throw in another one of these wave function collapsing decision making kits for free. Plus a bonus added feature of um, telling you the probability of you sitting next to one of the twins that are your best friend. But wait, there's more. If you call within the next two seconds, then you have to then we'll cut the price in half to $19.99 for this $2 value kit um, plus $45.65 shipping and handling. Side effects may include a wreck of the life, greatest hits stuck in one's head, fatigue, bloating, nausea, confusion, disappointing, extreme chronic depression, thoughts of suicide and death, in that order. We are not responsible for fights between Fermi on my twins or any other customer accidents. Order your Rebecca Black decision-making kit today.